Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at updating your Fortnite. So, let's say you guys clicked on your Fortnite already and it's not running the update itself. Well, you guys can just get out of Fortnite, just make sure to close it. To close any game for that matter, just hold on to your PlayStation button and your monitor controller. And if you guys have anything open on the top, it should say close app. Anyways, once you're done that, we can just go over Fortnite, for example, and we're going to hold the options key. Well, just tap on your options key. And we're going to see this check for update. Just check for update. That's your third option. And from there, it should run any updates if there are any updates available at the moment. If your update's going really, really slow, make sure to use an Ethernet cable. So just hook up your PlayStation to your router directly using that cable and you should be okay. So right now an update file is ready. Yep, yep. So go to downloads and we're gonna see this. There we go. So this is three gigs. It's not a humongous update, but for some three gigs can be a lot. So again, if this is going way too slow for you guys, just hook it up directly to your router using an ethernet cable. Once you're done with the update, you can unhook it and just hook it back up to your Wi-Fi network and that's it. How long should this take for most people? Well, again, it depends on your internet speed. So for me, this will take a couple minutes. So just about five, well, not even five minutes. Let's take a look at three to five minutes. And for others, this might take 15 minutes. And for those of you with slow internet speed, three gigs could take a whole day. So again, it does depend on that. Once it's done, we can just launch Fortnite right here and get playing. You cannot launch Fortnite and don't even try to launch Fortnite when it's trying to update. By the way, it's also a good idea just to keep your PlayStation running. Don't just let it die or don't let your PlayStation turn off by itself if it's running any updates such as for this game itself. Anyways, once it gets close to being done, then you're going to see this uh, small countdown for 10 seconds. It's going to go on and copy that file and finally you will be done with the update. So at this point you already downloaded the update and it's just copying it which is always part of the process. So we just have to wait for this. In this case, uh, your internet speed doesn't matter that much unless you have other stuff downloading, but you just have to let it be. It's just gonna be a few minutes. So just after a bit, we should see actually Fortnite be done. So we should say Fortnite version installed. We're all good. We can get out of here and we can launch Fortnite. At this point in time, it should be working. So we should be able to see the screen connecting a few screens and then finally back into the game so here we go finally it's loading up let's just go right into it so let's log in make sure everything's working yep so news i got this okay that's weird oh that's really nice <laughs> all right really interesting skin upgrade for the bush ranger winter bush ranger they should have had this from before. I'm not sure why it just came out now, but it's not too late. We're still in winter. So it does look like a really old Bush Ranger, but I like it. <laughs> it looks okay. Let's take a closer look at it. Yeah, well, I'm always a fan of the original green version. That's mine, but we're just gonna equip this for now. And here it is, here's the skin. Yeah, it looks pretty neat. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.